Hey everybody, I'm Lee Williamson, and today I'm going to teach you how to rig a character in Miximo, uh, add a mocap animation to it, and also how to edit uh, the animation if you wanted to make subtle edits that the pre recorded mocap uh, didn't allow for. Uh, I was recently working on a client job where I had to animate a character and blend it in with some vector animations in After Effects. And I was up against the wall. I only had five days to do this uh, two and a half minute animation. So let me show you what I did. So I have to animate a sneaky thief with a duffel bag running into a car to uh, break into it. So let me just choose a character animation that would suit that. Sneaking, perfect. Uh, now I just need to widen up the stance so that this shows the perfect silhouette and just choose in place because I'm going to animate this in After Effects so all I really need is the walk cycle so to import the object you need to go to File, Merge Objects and then import the FBX I won't be needing the texture tags, so I will delete them all. So you can go and click on the joint layer first, then go to the animate drop down panel and click add motion clip and be sure to give it a name like sneaking. Change your layout to animate and go to motion mode. So you've got keyframe mode and then the F curve manager and then motion mode. Click on the layer on the timeline and you'll see on the right hand side will an attributes panel will pop up. This is where you have a couple of extra options. For me right now, I just want to loop the animation a lot more, so I'll put on my 100. On the second tab of the attributes manager, there will be a tab called hierarchy. Over here, you can actually deactivate some of the parts that you want to edit. So for me, I want to edit one of the character's arms so that I can have him have his arm over his shoulder to be holding a bag. So I'll just choose everything from the shoulder down to the elbow, down to the hands and fingers, and I'll turn those off in the checkboxes. Now that your uh, joint animations have been deactivated from the preordained animation, you can now go into your joints and literally animate or rotate the pieces that you need to edit. Just be sure to go to the coordinate system and change it to world view. It will probably be a lot easier if I set this uh, uh, set the camera up and set it on left view. That way I can more accurately rotate the joints and see what they're going to look like in the silhouette. I don't need to be too accurate with this. As long as the hand's hiding behind the shoulder, it's going to be the silhouette anyway. So I won't really need to be worried about folding the fingers, just really pulling the hand back. Next, I'm just going to quickly model a duffel bag over the character's shoulder. I can do this by using a primitive square, uh, breaking it apart, uh, putting it into a subdivision surface, and then using the extrude tool, that's a MT on the keyboard, to shape the duffel bag.
right now the duffel bag doesn't actually move with the character. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag the duffel bag under the joint where the hand is. That way when the hand moves, so does the duffel bag. The great thing is that even if you're not happy with where the duffel bag is, even though it's parented on the joint, you can still move it around until it uh, is in a place that's pleasing to you. So the final thing you will need to do is to create a new material. Uh, since it's going to be a silhouette, you just go into your luminance channel and use full black. Um, that should be fine. And then just drag and drop your texture onto your character. Uh, next step is to dive into After Effects so I can show you how it works with the rest of the animation that I've built. So here's the final product in After Effects. Uh, it blends incredibly well with vectors as you can see and saved me plenty of time. Right, I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, if you want to know more, please head over into Cineversity and look up a guy called Steve Teeple. He delves much further in than I did in Meximo. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe. I'd be hugely encouraged. I am more than happy to spotlight whenever I'm able to solve little problems that might make my workflow so much easier. And I'm hoping it could take that weight off your back too. So catch you next time.